here's a short video on uh, entering soprano alto tenor bass into a notation program. So you log into Note Flight, click Create. Choose Piano. And here we go, we have a grand staff. I'm going to enter the figured bass that was from today. This is the Monday, April 6th figured bass. So first thing, that one was uh, in the key of A major. So I choose that key signature right here with the key signature tool. I need to change the time to 3-4 and click OK. And now I'm going to enter the bass line first. So I'm going to click on this first measure. I'm going to go over here and set the duration to quarter. And I'm going to enter an A, which is the bass note. Once you've highlighted a rest, you can just type the letter A on the keyboard and it will give you an A. And if you type the wrong note, you can drag it up and down around, or you can use arrow keys to fine tune as well. So we're on the A. The next note was F sharp, and then we need a D sharp. So there's D-sharp. This one I'm going to have to uh, change to a D-sharp. So I want to go to pitch and move up a half step. And you can see the keyboard shortcut for that is uppercase up arrow. I can do this. And it's changed it for me. Here, I'm going to continue E. D natural, C sharp, and across the bar line, C sharp, D, E, and then A. For that one, I'm going to change the duration to half note, and then I'm going to add a dot to that. So there's my bass line. I can highlight these measures. Go to measure over here, delete measures, and now I have my bass line. Now if I want to add the tenor line, what I'm going to be doing is adding an upper line to the highlighted staff. So I've highlighted the bass note. I'm going to type U, the letter U, and that will create an upper line. You can see the rest here, and now I can type the tenor line. Here's E. Now you'll see it did it in the wrong register, so I can use the arrow keys to get to the right spot. F sharp, F sharp, E, 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 E. Oops. All right, that was great, wasn't it? Okay, let's fix this. This is good, you can see the mistakes. So let's do this. Let's do this measure. We've got our upper defined. Here, we need a C. Okay, fix the mistake. So now I'm gonna do this upper line, E, E, E. Now on this measure, I then have to define upper, and we need E, D, D, C sharp. Made the same mistake, didn't I? Do an undo here, upper, and I need C sharp. Change the duration to half note with a dot. Nice thing about this is that you can play. The piece as you do it. So now we'll do the upper voice. I'm gonna add in the alto part. A, 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 
G sharp A G sharp this needs to be a G natural so I believe I can do shift and down arrow or I could have gone over here to pitch and moved down a half step which would have done the same thing G natural F sharp E and then E this one I changed the duration to half note with a dot let's hear all three voices now now we're going to add the soprano line I'm going to try something highlight all of this and now I'm going to do the letter U for create an upper voice okay it only lets me do one measure at a time I'm going to do the upper voice for all three measures and now I'm going to click on the first measure and our soprano was C sharp C sharp C sharp C sharp and then B a, 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 and that one needs to be a G sharp. Did you hear that it was a G natural? So shift, up, arrow, A, duration, half note, with a dot. Now we're ready to hear the whole thing. Sounds good. Once you have this, all you have to do is uh, hit the printer and it generates a PDF ready to upload to the website. So there you go, that's a quick tutorial on entering four voices in Note Flight. And again, Note Flight is free uh, in a limited version. That's all for now.